Hello again. So business math, chapter 11, section three, we're going to be going over term life insurance. So we just spent a couple of sections going over health insurance um, and, you know, looking at kind of different tables based on that. Um, so now we're going to look at a new table based on life insurance. Um, so remember when you're looking at these tables, you don't always have to fill something in. Usually if you need to fill something in, it will be numbered. Number one, number two, number three, number four. You don't have to just fill in blank spots. These are just blank. Um, and it's because the minimum amount is $50,000. So they're telling you you can't have less than $50,000 insurance, life insurance. But there's nothing that actually goes in those. They're blank. So you, you don't need to fill in just because it's a blank section in a table. It's just giving you some information in that table. So again, if you have to fill in a table, it's going to be numbered. You're going to see numbers on the side, which tells you it's number one, number two, number three, you know, and so on. Um, okay, so for this one, we're going to look um, at a couple of things just to make sure you understand what to do. We're only going to work out number one here, and then maybe we'll look at one of the, the lower ones here to, to see that one um, in the word problem form. Um, this one is quite a bit um, simpler than section two. I will admit that section two is a little bit more involved. Um, so with this one, we have the main purpose of life insurance is to provide financial protection for your dependent dependents in case of your death. You may purchase term life insurance, which is the least expensive form of life insurance. You buy term life insurance for a specific term, such as five years. So every five years, they actually will reevaluate you and kind of change the cost. So that's why it's a little cheaper because they know as you get older, they can end up charging a little bit more, which if we look at this chart, we can see 18 to 30 year olds and there's a, a column for male and a column for female. So it's different based on gender. Um, so 18 to 30 year olds are only $3 and 21 cents for every thousand dollars that's covered. So we'll come back to that thousand dollars. It's very important that you pay attention to that kind of stuff. Um, but if I come down here and I'm 60, 1719 per thousand dollars of coverage. So definitely a huge difference in cost there. Um, they, and the reason insurance companies do this is they assume, you know, younger um, people have a much less likely chance of cashing this out, meaning um, dying necessarily at that age than say an older person would. So that's why as you age, the insurance goes up because it's much more likely you're actually going to cash in on it now. Um, and it's not necessarily you cashing in on this. It would be your family. Um, I know a little bit morbid here with that stuff, but um, okay. So let's look at this formula. They always give us a formula. Again, you should have your textbook. You should read through the section um, and look at the examples in there. Don't just depend on these worksheets to get you through. So this formula tells us the annual premium would be the number of units purchased times the premium per thousand. So sounds kind of funny, um, but number of units purchased has to do with this thousand dollars. So it says annual premiums per thousand dollars of life insurance. So if I want two thousand dollars in life insurance, which it already tells me I can't do that, it's too too low, but I'm just using it as an example, then that means two units because there's two thousands in there. So if I did fifty thousand, well that's fifty thousands so it's 50 units so that's what they mean by number of units it's you take your number how whatever the amount you want for your insurance and you're dividing by a thousand that will tell you your number of units so they don't necessarily tell you how to do that here you would have learned that in the textbook um, and then you take that number of units and you multiply it by a thousand um, to get your annual premium so um, or sorry, not by a thousand. I'm being silly. You multiply it by the premium per a thousand. I read that funny. Um, so you come here and you look on the chart, but depending on male or female, um, and then age, you find how much they're going to be paying for every thousand dollars that they want. This is how much they have to pay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So Hector Mays is 20 and his gender is male. Um, and he wants $60,000 in coverage. So we need to figure out how the number of units. So we're going to divide by a thousand. Remember, that's all we have to do, and that's the same thing all the way down here. We're going to divide by a thousand. That tells you how many units they're asking for. So in this case, it is sixty units. That's how many he wants because he wants sixty thousand dollars. So now, once we have the number of units, 
we want to know the annual premium um, per thousand. This is from the chart. So from the chart. Okay. You're not calculating anything in here. You're actually just grabbing a number from the chart and filling it in. So he's 20 and male. So I'm going to go to the 20 year old. So it's in this range, 18 to 30. And then male is my first column here. So he's going to be paying $3.21 for every one of those units. So for every $1,000, he pays $3.21. I'm going to undo that circle just because it doesn't necessarily need to be there. So here I will have $3.21. I'm just filling that part in. There's, there's no calculation in this column. I just need to pull the number from here. Um, for the annual premium, remember annual premium, that's the formula they gave us. We want to do the number of units times the premium per thousand. So number of units was 60. Premium per thousand for Hector is $3.21. So we're going to multiply these two numbers. And we will get $192.60. So he's going to pay $192.60 every year for this premium. And then as he gets older, it may increase. So once he gets to 35, it's going to go up a bit. And then once it gets to 40, it's going to go up a bit more. So, um, and then it goes up and they call it's five year term. So after you get to 30, it's five year terms. 18 to 30 is obviously not five years. So they're kind of grouping these guys in the, the young group, 18 to 30. And then after 30, it starts to go up and change a little bit more rapidly. Um, so each one of these columns, same thing, you're going to divide by 1,000, tells you how many units, and then you're going to multiply by the annual premium per 1,000. I'm going to jump to number four real quick because number four is a little different. Um, oh, nope, I'm sorry. I was thinking of the next unit here. So never mind. All of these are exactly the same on this, this chart. I'm jumping ahead to section four here. Thinking about that one. Oh, I just want to move down a little bit. All right. So let's look at one of these word problems here just so that we can kind of see what's going on. Um, all of them are very, very similar. To, to each other. So um, Rodrigo Orbitz wants to purchase a $50,000 term, five-year term life insurance um, policy. He is 18 years old, and it says he doesn't always say he or she, but you can look at the name and figure that one out. Um, and what is his annual premium? So 50000 that's the total, right? And to find the number of units, I need that number. I'm going to divide by 1,000. And I'm going to get the number of units here. Once I know the number of units, I'm going to multiply that number of units by his annual premium per thousand. So I'm going to go to the 18 year old column, and it's a male again. So we're going to do 13, or sorry, 321 again. So we're going to multiply by 321 a, a second time, even though um, you would have done all these other ones in between here. And that will give you his annual premium amount. So very similar to the chart here. They just aren't having you fill out the pieces. You have to go and grab them on your own. Um, you'll do the exact same idea here for number seven. Pay attention. It's Alicia this time. So that's that's a girl. It's a female. So make sure you're grabbing it from the right column. Um, and then this one down here. Um, it's a little different for number eight. So 10 years ago, you purchased a $70,000 five-year um, term life insurance policy. So $70,000. Um, and at that time you were age 30. So we're pretending like you are a 30 year old person who wants a $70,000 five year um, term life insurance policy. What is your premium? So depends on if you're male or female, you're going to calculate this. So there's a couple of different answers on this one, um, depending on you, because this is all about you. So you would take the 70,000 and this is for everybody. It doesn't necessarily matter yet, male or female. You still want to divide by the thousand. We need to know how many units this is. So everybody's going to have 70 units. So we have 70 units, and we're going to multiply this depending on male or female. We'll come up here to the chart. And since we're 30, we're still up here in the top part. If you're male, you're going to multiply by 321. If you're female, you're going to multiply by 277. So that just depends on you. It can be either one of those two things. So you just fill that in with whichever number is appropriate for male or female, and you multiply. And that'll tell you your annual premium, how much you were paying at that time. So you'll get a number here. 
Um, not unlike this one. It's both the numbers here are pretty similar. In fact, one of them is within a dollar of this one. Um, so you'll, you'll get a total annual premium. And then it says, how much have you paid over the last 10 years? Remember, the answer you get here, you have been paying it every single year for 10 years. So um, it's kind of funny because you would have changed amounts here, but they're assuming you didn't change amounts, that you just stayed on that same $3.21. Um, so you take this amount here and multiply. I don't know why I did a, we'll do a dot instead. Boop, boop, boop. And you multiply by 10. And that will tell you how much you've paid over the past 10 years. All right, again, I hope this helped. Uh, and I will see you in section four.